the central YMCA in San Francisco had particularly good weightlifting facilities. The first time I went there, my eye was caught by a bench press bar loaded with nearly 400 pounds. When I looked around, I saw no one in the Y who looked up to such a weight. No one at least until a short but hugely broad and thick-chested man, a white-haired gorilla, hobbled into the gym. He was slightly bow-legged, lay down on the bench, and by way of warm-up, did a dozen easy reps with a bench press bar. He added weights for subsequent sets, going to nearly 500 pounds. I got talking to him later. He was very genial. He told me that his name was Carl Norberg, that he was Swedish, that he had worked all his life as a longshoreman, and that he was now 70 years old. I felt inspired by Carl and determined to lift greater poundages myself to work on the one lift I was already fairly good at, the squat. Training intensively, even obsessively, I worked up to doing five sets of five reps with 555 pounds every fifth day. The simplicity of this pleased me, but caused amusement at the gym, sacks and his fives. I didn't realize how exceptional this was until another lifter encouraged me to have a go at the California squat record. I did so diffidently, and to my delight was able to, to set a new record, a squat with a 600 pound bar on my shoulders. This was to serve as my introduction to the powerlifting world. A weightlifting record is equivalent in these circles to publishing a scientific paper or a book in academia.